Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Now before we start, you know, some people they keep asking questions about other channels and look like they are very confused and maybe some other channels who they are posting my videos in purpose trying to make them confused. Um, they asked him if this is an official channel and they don't answer. Obviously they don't want to tell them that this is not my channel. It's okay. You know, there's many fake people there. However, let us make it clear. And if you copy my video and you don't want to post what I'm saying now, obviously you don't want people to know that the channel you are posting my videos in it, it's not your channel. I have only two channels, Christian Prince and Arabian Prophet, those who speak about Islam. I have other two channels, which is uh, Arab for Christ to teach Arabic. And the other one is the quality of life, which is we are not using for now. But there is only only two channels to speak about Islam. So any other channel, I have nothing to do with it. And actually, even websites, you know, there's many websites, even the admin is the post website have my videos. Those are not my website. So I hope we made that clear. All right. Now we go to the topic. First, I want to say thank you, Allah. Thank you for all the intelligent Abdul who come here to refute me. But the sheikhs don't dare. You know, just uh, two days ago, we have an Abdul who speak Arabic. He called me and he start making a lecture about the grammar. Even though all the Quran and grammar is wrong and the Muslim they try their best actually even the grammar rules This is how corrupt. This is how much Islam corrupted the Arabic They base their grammar on the Quran not on the Arabic. You can ask them. They will tell you yes uh, But anything they cannot answer they have to come with a solution and the solution is very funny And the Quran is full of Arabic grammar against the grammar they made based on the Quran And what they say to you Oh Allah, he can do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like even the word is written. Like if you ask the word Hayat, how we write Hayat? The Quran write it as Hayawa, Hayaw. Like what Hayat? <laughs> be ism. Is it be? With? So the Quran is messed up. So I'm very thankful for Allah because all who do follow Him proven to us that Allah cannot be God. Because if Allah is God, he should make them smart. I mean, help them, especially those who defend you. I mean, I'm, maybe you cannot make everybody smart. This is how life is. I mean, there's dummy everywhere. But at least those who defend you, I mean, you are hiring the funny law IQ lawyers. And I will show you an example before we start today, our program. This is a, a, a person, his name is forgive, Forgiving. And I very I find it very funny that you call yourself forgiven and you are a Muslim. Because in case you do not know, you believe in destiny, and destiny does not mean there's any forgiveness. Because if it's destiny for you to go to hell, so I forgive you from what? <laughs> and if it's destiny for you to go to heaven, so Allah forgive you from what? It's destiny. It's before He created you, He decided where you want to go. So even what you say is very, very silly. There's no authentic proof in the entire Christianity where Jesus Himself told people that Jesus is God, know or where he told people that Jesus was dying on the cross with his own free will. You see here, we see uh, uh, the low IQ again, because this guy, he just posted another comment. Let me open it. I just took screenshot of his comment just for love, you know. Just to show you how this idiot he answered himself. He is answering a person, his name is Christian, Christian family man. You are wrong. Why you don't debate with this, with idiot? Why, why don't debate with the idiot? When wise Christians are accepting Islam everywhere. Well, those are wise. They want to get their penis to be endless. You see how wise they are. I mean, how wise a human being to believe that there's a God. If I accept him, he will make, extend my penis that like the nose of pinky. This is how wise those people are if they exist. And then he said, this is the pain of these fool and they know they know their words 
in the end. So, uh, okay, and he say to us, Matthew chapter 7, verse number 20 to 23. If we go back to the previous comment, there is nowhere Jesus said he is God, but this guy, he just said Jesus is God by posting Matthew. Let us go there. He just said there is nowhere Jesus he is God, didn't he? And then by posting Matthew 7, 22, 23, he just confirmed to us that Jesus is God. Just to show you that Muslims are illiterate like their prophet. And the literacy of Muhammad is not about not to know how to read, how to write. It's about being specifically a certified idiot. He is the one who chose this for us to read it. He's a school new Christians. Matthew chapter 7, verse 23, 22, 23. And you see, I'm just quoting exactly the verses you wanted because obviously you don't want to see the rest, right? On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and cast out demon in your name and do many might work in the in your name? And they will de I will declare to them, I never know you depart away, depart from me. Your work was of loudness. Lousness. So you Abdul, you just said that there's nowhere Jesus said I am God, but you just post for us Jesus saying I'm God. You know, and actually I'm using the translation which Muslims they like. This is E C S S V. In that day many, but many of what? Many they will say, but there is a huge number of people still who say to him, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. So uh, the Muslims, when they try to, uh, you know, to, uh, and by the way, they will say to you the version of etc. This is translation, as you've seen, and this is how stupid they are when they speak about version. The version, 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 version. Many will say to me in that day, you know, many, but not everyone of them will enter the kingdom of the father. So those people, they did in his name miracles. In the name of Jesus, you cannot do miracles in the name of a prophet. Unless he is God. Those people, they will do miracles and mighty work in the name of Jesus. They cast demon in the name of Jesus. You see the name of Jesus, how powerful it is. This is not the name of a prophet. So it's against even your religion. To say, I want to cast, uh, let us say, uh, Afrit, because you must believe in Afrit, which is very stupid and fiction, uh, by the name of Muhammad, because Muhammad is not God. He, here, those people, even though they are not really truthful with the Messiah, still by using the name of the Messiah, they are able to accomplish. So many, they will say to me, you know, many, they will say to me, God, God, and I will not recognize them to be. Why? He explained to you why. You know, this is why you quoted only verse number 22, 23. Because if you read more verses, people will laugh at you. And they will see that you are fake hypocrite like your prophet. Why you don't read the rest? What's wrong with the rest? Right? Why you don't want? You prophesy in the name of Jesus, that's meaning you are claiming to be a prophet for Jesus. That must be that Jesus is God. And we cast the devil in your name. So what the problem with those people? Did Jesus say is because you said to me, my Lord, I am casting you out. But he said to them, because you are not doing it for my glory, you are doing it for your own. And this is exactly, we can't say Muhammad is one of those because Muhammad, he could not cast demon from his own. Actually, the Hadith says that Muhammad received a command from the devil. Uh, when Muhammad and he speak about something, trying to prove to us something, we laugh loud and clear. Because look what we are debating about. 
Muslims are debating with us if Jesus is God or not. Christians are debating Muslims if Muhammad is a perverted man or not. Do you see the difference? So Jesus is so good to the point billions of years. Let us, let, uh, uh, let us say for the sake of uh, argument, Christians are wrong. But billions of people versus Muslims believe that Jesus is so good to be a normal man. And billions of people believe that Muhammad is a perverted man and even the Quran confirmed that he is a big fat sinner. So we are debating about two people. One of them is so holy, so good. To the point, is he God or is a man? And we are debating about a man. He is so perverted to the point he gave advice to his followers to go and have sex with the children. Do you see the difference? So when Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, and this is actually the most accurate translation, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. You will be saved. Which means there's many they will say to him, Lord, Lord. And we know that all the disciples of Jesus, they call him Lord, Lord. All of them with no exception. Very desperate Abdul. Then we continue with more posts of the, Abdul, the Abdulism cult. Let us see more. Just for the sake of fun. Uh, oh, this is a different one. This guy is not Abdul. He is asking about the title of this video. I'm not sure if it's a joke uh, or, or that's how CP read it, but it is moods, not mo mood, uh, moods, mo mo uh, mood, moods, 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 not moods. English translation father says, every verse it has external and internal meaning. And every interaction uh, has source of reference. I wonder what the Arabic said. Well, my friend, first of all, uh, you see the Muslims, always they try to cover up the stupidity of Muhammad. If we go to the Hadith, the one we are talking about, and this is why my title today, did Allah send seven Quran in seven moods or moods? Or there is seven Allah. Ibn Mas'ud reported, this is one of the uh, Quran makers, or reciter, as the Muslim they say. The Quran was sent down in seven moods, every moods or moods, <laughs> every, uh, uh, every verse in it has external and internal meaning. And look what Muhammad he did here. You see, when you say there is ex external and internal, but yet Muhammad did not give us the external and did not give us the internal. Now we have tons of Muslim sect. Like there's a huge numbers of Islamic sect, they call themselves al batiniyin which means the internal. <clears throat> and a huge part of them from the Shia. So Muhammad himself and Allah is the one behind it because now I can give interpretation for the verse as I wish. But you know, if you look carefully for what this statement is saying, you will see that the one who made the statement, he is an idiot. Why? Because the purpose of it was Muhammad reciting the Quran in seven different ways, seven words, seven different words, not just like singing it. You know what I mean? So if it is the Quran have seven internal, that's mean the same Quran is the same uh, recitation. You know what I mean? You remember yesterday, uh, two days ago, when the guy, the, the, the Saudi guy, he called me and I asked him, okay, give, give me the recitation of Warsh. What he said? I do not know it. So if it's the same Quran, he will recite the same Quran. If it is the same, then what, what the problem? It's the same. Just say the same words. 
but because it's not the same Quran. I don't know what moment it was in the video two days ago, so we can play it, but the video there is like an hour or something. I'm not sure what moment he said that in the video, so you can watch it. So this is not about seven internal meaning and seven uh, external meaning. Muhammad, he made it clear in different hadith, just to sh show you how we get them busted. And this is why they fear debating us. Here it says, <coughs> read carefully, this is the title. This is the book of Sahih Muslim, this is very authentic. Uh, chapter 48, the clarification of the Quran was revealed in seven Ahruf, modes of recitation and clarifying its meaning. Yeah. So, okay, so now if if uh, the seven recitation will make it clarify the meaning, that means there is more explanation in the other recitation, correct? If the seven recitation does not clarify the meaning, that means there's no point of them. Let us continue. It says here that Jibreel came to Muhammad and he said to him, Allah has commanded you to recite to your people uh, give me give me your question later my friend let us focus here now to recite your uh, to your people uh, the Quran in one dialect you see here now it's dialect it's not mo modes you see what the different how here it's became dialect dialect mean different words you see, uh, if I speak now to somebody, he speaks Arabic from Morocco, I will not understand anything, hardly. Because simply Arabic is not really a language by itself. Arabic is a collection of languages. Even the one who is in Saudi Arabia, based on Aramaic, there's no Arabic language. Arabic is not a language. Actually, the guy who called me two days ago, I asked him, who is the one who put the grammar? He could not, you know, I answer right away. I said I will ask what you do early, and then he agreed. But this guy isn't even a Persian. So because Arabic never was really a language by itself, it has no grammar. The one who put the grammar is a Persian who is not even an Arab. And he add the grammar or he created the grammar after long after the Quran. And he tried to make it to fit with the Quran, not with the Arabic. So we cannot play the game of a grammar which is made by a Persian. What is the Arab? If the Arab language have a grammar, then we do not need a Persian guy to add a grammar to the Arabic. Are you with me? So look what happened now. Suddenly in the other one, it says external and outside meaning, in, 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 inside meaning, internal meaning. Now it is dialect. Okay, how dialect will make, the, uh, the, I mean, what does that mean? Do you see how they don't match? Because if it is different meaning only, well, there is no need for dialect. Because the same Quran, we must be talking about the same page, the same letters, the same words. So if I say now, he ate shish kebab and he ate not shish kebab. Okay, I can say now, this is have seven meaning outside meaning and seven internal meaning, the same sentence. I do not need to change the sentence. But Muhammad, he have different words, different sentence. And the reason behind that, because Muhammad as a fool man, he could not recite the same verse twice correctly. And he claimed that Allah, he made him forget Quran. Yet Allah, he make him forget the Quran, he will bring him a better Quran. Have you ever heard of a God? He gave a Quran to a prophet and he make him to forget it two days after? Read carefully. This is the Quran. This is not a Christian prince talking. Chapter 2, verse 106. Whatever verse do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten? Question to the Muslims. 
Can you name for me the person who Allah caused to forget the Quran? Where you got your Quran from? From Muhammad. So if Muhammad is the one who is forgetting the Quran, then how Muhammad can be the source of the Quran? And how the Muslim they say to us that we memorize the Quran by heart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even your Quran saying that Quran was forgotten. And the claim is that the one behind forgetting the Quran is Allah. And here you can see how easy you can debunk their lie about we memorize the Quran. Actually, even the hadith says that Muhammad he forgot the Quran. Let us see if we can find the verses. Uh, look at this verse here, this uh, hadith. The Prophet said, Why does any one of the people say, I have forgotten such and such verses in the Quran? He, in fact, caused by Allah to forget. I mean, what, what's wrong with this religion? Who is the one who caused the Quran to be forgotten? Allah. Do you see it? Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? Question, why Allah has sent you the verse and now he wants you to forget the verse? He just sent it to you last week. If they want to say to us that this is uh, not authentic, as you see, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, and I think you can see the reference, all of you. Because, you know, this is the game, you know, authentic, not authentic, you know. Anything, look, like, sound like sound like poo-poo, spell like poo-poo, right away they say da'if. Anything, smell like poo-poo, sound like poo-poo, it is da'if for the poo-poo cult. Hey, Muslims, do you memorize the Quran by heart? Yes, brother, I memorize the Quran by heart. But Allah says, I cause you to forget the Quran. And your prophet, he agree. He said, you should not say, I forgot the Quran. You should say, Allah caused me to forget the Quran. Question, why Allah, he caused you to forget the Quran? Any Muhammadan? I challenge every single Abdul of you to tell me why Allah he caused you to forget the Quran. Uh, Jibreel, you know, I think you are a joker. Get out of here. Do we have any Muslim? Any Muslim? Let us continue. But this is a good hadith showing us how stupid this religion is. We want to find the hadith where Muhammad he himself he forget the Quran. Let us laugh together. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Allah, uh, 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 a prophet, heard a man reciting the Quran at night. And he said, Allah, 
May Allah bestow his sauce on you. Why? As he remind me of such and such verses and such and such surah, surahs, which I cause to forget. The Prophet himself, he forget the Quran. And then the Abdul, they say, will recite the Quran. And the Prophet himself, he says, Allah, he calls you to forget the Quran. Is that a game? Is that a joke? Why Allah want Muhammad to forget the Quran? Is that going to make Muhammad a better person? Smarter? Or he will look stupid? Is that going to make Muhammad more convincing? Or more dummy? Isn't it the Quran says, We are going to make you recite the Quran and you will never forget? The Quran says so. We are going to make you read the Quran and you will never forget. And then Allah, Aka Muhammad, he said, Illa ma sha Allah, except what Allah wants. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Look at this dummy. It is unbelievable. By degrees shall we teach thee to declare the message, so thou shall not forget. The translation is weird. I think this guy, he used Google translation. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us see a different idiot. Itani uh, Allah. Let us say Itani Allah. We will make you read so you don't forget. Except what Allah will. He know what is declared and what is a hiding. Like what? <laughs> okay, Abdul. Did Muhammad make this verse just to cover his bum because he is making a lot of poo poo? He recites Quran and second day he do not know what he said and he add new words. So he come with an excuse that he have received the Quran in seven moods or seven reading, seven dialect. Any Abdul? There was the two Muslims <coughs> reciting the Quran. And almost they kill each other. Because they never heard this before. Here I find the, the story about the two Muslims. Uh, accusing each other of being liars. very very interesting because it's proved to us that Muhammad he read the Quran depend on the time and where he is differently from the time he read before or he said before I heard Hisham bin, bin Hakim and this is again Sahih al-Bukhari so the Muslim they can say this is weak Reciting Surat Al Furqan during the lifetime of Allah Messenger. Remember, during the lifetime, this is not after Muhammad, so we can say, oh, maybe one of them is lying. This is happening in the time of Muhammad, actually, and later they go to Muhammad himself. And I listened to this recitation and I noticed that he recited several way in, in several way. Allah Messenger has not had not taught me. They cannot. This guy, he never heard. The same chapter. We are not talking about two different chapters. The same, the same, same is reading something different. So 
I was in the point of attacking him in the prior. The guy's brain, the guy when attack and kill him. But I waited till he finished the prior. And then I sized him by the collar. I said, who taught you this surah which I have heard? You're reciting. He replied, Allah Messenger taught me. I said to him, you are telling a lie. Look how bad it was. You see, if there is an error or a mistake, he, this, things will not go that far. He will say, well, brother, this is wrong. You say here, you know, you, you say this word wrong or, you know, but it was so different. He accused him to be a liar. And not only that, by Allah, a messenger taught me in different way. The, this very verse I have heard you reciting. So I took him, leading him to Allah. The, the guy, he dragged him behind him like a goat because he commit a crime now. He's fabricating Quran. And I said, Allah Messenger, I heard this person reciting Surah Al-Furqan in a way that you did not teach me. And you have taught me Surah Al-Furqan. The Prophet said, Oh Hisham, recite. So the guy recited, this guy, his name is Hisham. So he recited in the si same way as I heard him recite be before. So he did exactly what the guy he heard before, which he did not like. And on that, Allah Messenger said, it was revealed to be recited this way. Huh? So the guy is right. He did not add anything. <coughs> then Allah Messenger said to the guy, the other guy who is opposing this, okay, you recite Omar. His name is Omar. So I recited as he, uh, he ha had taught me. Allah Messenger said, it was revealed to be recited in this way <laughs> Allah Apostle added the Quran has been revealed to recite it to be recited in several different way to recite of it that which is easier for you easier what does that mean just to show you how stupid the one who come with this excuse to cover himself from being a stupid who cannot recite the same verse twice he recited the verses in the front of abdul different from the verse he recited in the front of other abdul and now they learn two verses and the excuse is will recite which easier for you is that the purpose if this is the purpose, why you don't give them the easier from the beginning? And no need the arrest. Are you following me, guys? Is it Islam say that Allah, he wants things to be easy on us? This is why he allowed you fornication, sex with the children, you know, theft, all those things. As long as you are not doing it to Muslims, a theft and killing is okay. Easier. So Allah, he sent seven Quran and he said to the Muslims, choose the easier for you. You know, here, look like Allah is confused and he is not sure what his creation is capable of. So he decided, okay, I will make seven way. I mean, come on. I can't make it eight. Should I make it 10 ways? Maybe a thousand way. And then they choose the easier one. But look, if we go to the city Quran, we will find different reason. And we will find different information proving Muhammad that he is a fraud. What Allah he said in the Quran, supposedly, the one is talking here, supposedly is Allah, not Muhammad. Remember, Muslims they say this is the word of Allah. Whatever verses revelation we do abrogate or cause to be forgotten, we bring better one or similar. So Muhammad is forgetting Quran. And we show you the reference saying that Muhammad, he admit that Allah is the one who caused him and caused all the Muslims to forget the Quran. What is the purpose? To bring something better or something similar.
Here, you notice that the one who made this verse is not only certified stupid, his certification of stupidity is so high, it's the top level. Why? Because if you are God, and now you are saying, I'm going to cause you to forget the Quran I wrote because I find that I can write better Quran. Why? You went to school? Why you wrote the verses you did before in the bathroom? You were in a rush? Why? There's a mistake there? And then he even make it more stupid when he say, or similar to it. Like, what the heck? Why you want to cause me to forget a verse? You want to make it similar, which means nothing changed really. <laughs> Do you understand, people? Imagine I'm going to delete this video and then I will say, okay, I'm going to make a similar. So why you want to delete it if they don't want to do similar? Who is the stupid here? And when God, he say, I'm going to make better Quran from my Quran. So how Muslim they say, can you make better Quran than the Quran of Allah? Don't spam the text a lot, otherwise I will block you again. You keep repeating those things. People, don't spam the text. You will force us to block you. It's very easy, one click. So Muhammad, he forgot the Quran. Muhammad, he recited the Quran again. It came differently. And now Muhammad, he have to find an excuse. And look what Muhammad he said. Why Allah he sent him the Quran? Remember in the other hadith he said to uh, choose whatever easier for you, which means the purpose of it is to make it easy. Here, no, read carefully. So Allah commanded you, Jibreel said to Muhammad, to recite the Quran to your people in one dialect. Guys, does it say they are one dialect? Does it say one dialect? It says that, right? This is the Muslim translation. So it's not seven moods, moody, modas, modis. It is seven dialect, which means different words. Like there is, you know, there is words they use in Saudi Arabia. They don't use in Kuwait uh, or have different meaning. Like in Kuwait, they call the flip flaps a nuba, which means the name of you know the daughter of Muhammad. The nuba, or maybe they meet the wife of Muhammad. I'm not sure. You can check that. You know they insult the Muhammad family. So uh, everybody have his own words, have his own dialect, we understand that. But I thought that when Allah, he made a decision, he made the right decision. So when Allah, he chose the first dialect, did he make the right decision? Or he was wrong? Obviously, he was wrong. Allah has ordered you to recite the Quran in one dialect. Upon this, I ask, Muhammad he spoke, I ask from Allah burden and forgiveness. My people are not capable of doing so. What, what, what the answer? My people are not capable of doing it. How? The guy who called me two days ago, was he capable of reciting the only Quran he knew? I asked him, do you know that recitation? He said he didn't know. 
you see the stupidity my people are not capable I remember at that time Islam is only in Mecca and there's only those few Arab from the same tribe of Muhammad and their neighbors it's not like in Pakistan and you know it's a uh, going all the way to Morocco Morocco is in Africa they are not Arab Libya is Africa not Arab Egypt is not Africa is not Arab all those countries are Muslims in invasion countries and they force them now to call themselves Arabic but none of them is an Arab Arab are not African as simple as that why his people they are not capable here we need to ask ourselves two questions why Allah is so stupid do not understand that the people of Muhammad are so silly and they have low IQ so they cannot get it from one Quran why secondly what kind of a prophet he negotiate with his God and he correct his God politely saying my people cannot do it man come on please come on Allah he go to the bedroom he scratch his bum and he said hmm he's right they are so slow all right I'm going to give you now I send Jibreel Jibreel now he come with the second recitation so now Jibreel he come back second time and he said Allah has commanded you that you should recite the Quran to your people in two dialect now you expect Muhammad to jump he say yay thank you thank no Muhammad is still disappointed Allah is so slow stupid he did not get it I thought Allah he can read your mind he can't even read what is in the pocket of Muhammad Muhammad was ups upset again he said the holy prophet the ho look, look look they put the word holy I mean do you see how holy he is the guy he was holding his, his penis as a flag and he is holy Again, he said, I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah. Come on, come on, tell your God you are very slow, brother. My people would not be able to do so. Like, what the heck? Two Quran is not enough. Still, I have my people. Like, if you like, if you talk to someone like this guy from England, the one who called me, his name is Abbas. I mean, you can tell this guy is so slow. And then we understand why Muhammad saying that. I mean, look at the followers. You understand what the story. My people are not able to do so. Jibreel, he went to Allah. Who is this? And it's Jibreel. Jibreel, don't tell me again that Muhammad, he don't, he want more. Yes, Allah, sorry. Allah, is, uh, Muhammad says they are not capable. I mean, Allah, damn it. So what I did to myself now, I send my Quran to a very slow nation. Yes, Allah, you send it to the Arab in the desert. They are very slow, what we can do. Okay, so now what we should do? Uh, Allah, maybe you think, if you don't mind, please, can you give us one more Quran? So Allah, he gave Jibreel one more Quran. And then Jibreel, he come to the third time. And he said, Allah has commanded you. To recite the Quran to your people in three dialect. Here you should say Muhammad like he was like, Wow, thank you. May Allah bless you. No, he said to him, huh. like, listen, listen. I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah. My people would not be able to do it. Like, what the heck? Hey Muslims, why Musa did not say that to Allah? Ah, because the Jewish are smart. I, I, you got a point there, there. Brother Sitter, Christian Prince has cooked them. How come Musa, the Prophet Musa, or Prophet Isa, did not receive seven gospel or seven Torah? This Christian Prince is a stupid. And I will tell you why. First of all, all of us we know that the Jews are very smart. And the Prophet was sent to the Arab. And actually, Christian Prince is an Arab. And that explains why he's stupid. Uh, but what the heck? Have you ever heard, even in Islam, a prophet, he needs seven Quran, 
so his people they can be capable of it what is missing here the brain or the hard disk or the memory or the ram or the software what's wrong with this cult all of this to cover Muhammad to cover his ass because he cannot repeat the same verse twice correctly so he gave himself seven times what if he repeated more than uh, seven times wrong he will say Allah give it to me eight times if you remember the hadith we showed you before where the two people they were fighting Muhammad never told them that Allah he sent the Quran to me in seven ways yet after people they start noticing fighting with each other that Muhammad is reciting Quran differently each time after that he revealed to them this is the first time they see those two people they are fighting they are living with Muhammad they are in the same town it's a village the whole population of, of Mecca at that time is not even like a thousand people so how come they did not know those people they accompany Muhammad and if they are the one who went with him to, to, to Medina they are 70 people 70 people do not know that Muhammad received Quran in the same way. And by the way, all the numbers Muslim they give us is, I believe, fabrication. They stuck with number seven, number 70, 72, three, you know. Those, Muhammad, he took them, those seven and 70, you know, from the Bible. He stuck with them. So, he never mentioned to them such a story. And shouldn't the Muslim knows from the first day that Muhammad he asked Allah that his people will not be, be capable? As you see, Muhammad here is not capable to remember the Quran, one Quran, not the seven. So how that will make it easier? How that will make it easier now if we have seven daily Quran and how we will know which one we should recite? Are you getting my point? Because remember, in, in the time of Muhammad, there's no book yet. Nobody is writing a book. So how people will know which one? So if I am a Muslim now, and I want to recite the Quran in seven dialect, okay, this verse is nicer for me in this dialect. This verse is better in that dialect. So I will make the same chapter, same chapter. I contain it with seven different dialect. Because all of them supposedly is the Quran. same time it's very important to take a note about a question I will ask you very important don't the Muslim they say Allah is Almighty don't they say the Quran is amazing so if one Quran is not amazing enough to make me understand the Quran and then Allah, he needed to write seven Qur'an to make you understand or to be capable of the Qur'an, whatever that means. That means Qur'an made by someone is not really good author. Because if you need to write your book in seven different ways so people, they can handle it, that means your book is a failure. You know what I mean? I do not need to make seven videos to explain my videos. The one I'm just doing now. Because if I have to do so, there's one of two. Actually, not one of two. There's two things happening. I am not capable of giving you what is enough for you to understand based on your level of intelligence. That's mean I am short of ability. Same time, you are short of understanding. So if Allah made the Quran and he said to him in the beginning, I am giving you the Quran in one dialect. Don't Allah knew that the Quran in one dialect is not good? Is that a joke? And now we have seven Quran in Arabic and still the Muslims, if there are six, still they cannot be capable. So how a guy from Pakistan or Bangladesh he is capable of understanding a book which is not in his language. Those are the Arab. 
They need seven Quran so they can be capable. Uh, Mikhail, you change your name, you come back, you are the same person. Don't flood the text, otherwise I will block you again. So, if many scholars they say that doesn't mean dialect, that will be even more stupid. Because if it's mean uh, 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 reading, why you need seven reading? You see how stupid you are? I mean, where do these people come from? See, different, different, different reading. Okay, let me do a, a different reading. Allah commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one day. This is one reading. Allah commanded you to recite the Quran in one day. Like, uh, this is the second reading. Now we have to go to the third reading. Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran in one day. Like, what that will do? You are just a stupid fool like the Abdul. If it's just from reading in reading what I mean, like singing it, then there is no need for all this drama. What crazy people! Obviously, there is a huge difference. Other, uh, 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 you know, uh, as an example, in the Quran, when Allah He said. I am going to put down in the earth Khaliqa wa inni ja'ilun fil ardi Khaliqa Okay There is some Muslim they say it was not Khaliqa It was sorry not uh, Khalifa it was Khaliqa Khalifa mean caliphate And that is weird because how he will inherit the earth if the earth is created? In order to say he is an inheritor for the earth, that's mean there's somebody was before it there. And this is what the Sabian believe. The Sabian they believe that there was a genie who used to live in this earth, and their God he destroyed all the creatures who was there, or I say their God, not God, because they believe that angels are level of gods, there is ranks. And he created a man so he can inherit the earth. Hold on. This verse here, where it says, Inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa, some Muslims they say, it was inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa. Sorry, uh, 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 khalifa, it was khalifa. Khalifa means a, a creature. There's a huge difference. between Khalifa and Khalifa. Some Muslims, they say, well, the mistake here is not from Allah. The mistake is from uh, the writers. So when they write, at that time, the Arabic language does not have those dots you see in the top, underneath, etc., or over. It's like a Christmas light. Those are not exist. Before. And when they add them, they made a mistake by adding, instead of one, uh, uh, two dots in the top of the letter uh, uh, before the last one, they added one letter, and that make it Khalifa, Caliphate. But how such a thing can happen? That can make a huge difference. Actually, there's a huge studies about different reading of the Quran. As an example, if you go to different verse in the Quran, about the seven sleepers, one of the most funny dummy, you know, copy paste story from uh, from other people, Muhammad, he have claiming that it's from his book, from his God. Here, if you see, there is there is a bunch of people who they are going to run away because those are Christians, and they will go inside the cave and they will stay inside the cave. 
And then people are asking Muhammad, how many are those people? Are they three and their dog? And they have a dog with them. Are they four? And they have a dog with them. Are they five? Are they seven? Are they six? So Muhammad, because you do not know. So look what the answer. To avoid being embarrassed, he said, some they say they are four and their dog is number four. They're, they're four, four and their dog is number five. Sorry, there are three and their dog is number four. And some they say they are five and their dog is number six. And uh, uh, guessing at the unknown, look, what the heck? Remember, he just said at the unknown. Do you see the word unknown? In case you are blind. Guessing at the unknown. And they will say seven and their dog is mean number uh, and their dog, uh, their dog is number eight. Do you remember he just said guessing at the unknown? But the question is about the unknown, how many there are? Did Allah give us the number? No. But look what happened, not only that. The dummy Muhammad, he just said here, guessing at the unknown. And then he said, say, Allah told him, say, my Lord know best their number. Like what? And none know them except a few. Like what the heck? I thought it's unknown. But now we have Allah and a few. Okay. But this is not really the only problem in this chapter. We are talking about the reading of the Quran. I'm just showing you an example of the stupidity. You know the word kelp. Kelbaum. Don't you notice here that there is something wrong? Islam hate dogs. Islam consider that if you have a dog with you, Allah will curse you. Islam consider that dogs are dirty, filthy. Islam consider that dogs are uh, uh, the most disgusting creatures. Muhammad even he ordered to kill all dogs. He have a phobia from the dogs because I believe because he's evil. And he knew that dogs can sense his evil. You know, dogs, they have a special sense, which nobody can have. They can feel you. So Muhammad, he ordered to kill all the dogs. And then suddenly we find in the Quran a story, which is copied from a Christian person, who his name is Yaqub, who wrote this story in Syria for the youth of the Christians to tell them have faith. They are discriminating us now. Tomorrow we will be victorious. It's a fiction story. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran. Now, now those people who they are in the cave, are going to sleep. And they have a dog, and this dog, he opened his two arms. Why he opened his two arms? And since when dogs have arms? In Arabic, zira is a word used for human being. This is not for animals. Animals don't have zira. So now those people are inside the cave, laying down, and they will sleep for 300 years some. You will think that they are awake, but they will sleep, which means their eyes is open. Very weird. And we turn them their right and their left aside. Most of them they say this is a miracle because if you if you lay down in one side you will get hurt, which is very uh, stupid. I mean this is Allah. If Allah He cannot keep you in one position, He have to flip you like a barbecue to to avoid damage. That's mean He is not God. You know what I mean? 
If God, he said, okay, sleep for a million year, and you will be fine when you wake up. You will be fine when you wake up. I do not need to flip them. So Allah, he go there and he flip them. And as you see, it says, and we turn them on right, their right, and on their left side. So we flip them. And their dog stretching forth his two forelegs. The Quran doesn't say that. The Quran says, ذِرَعَيْهِ his two arms. Muhammad the fool. He took the word kaliahum. He make it kalbahum. Kaliahum is their provider, their protector, and that is supposedly from the oldest story, an angel. And what this story is about, which make a lot of sense now, not with Muhammad, that there's an angel who opened his arms in front of the cave for so the army of the king cannot get in. Because dog cannot stop an army. Remember, those are people running away from a king. He have a powerful army, he sent his army to kill them. So you put a dog in the front of the cave, he will bring them you because he will park. Without the dog is even better. So the dog, he opened his arm to protect them. But this is, was an angel. So the original word is Kali'ahum, not Kalbahum. And this is an Aramaic word. Kali'ahum means provider, protector, the one who, you know, give them their needs. There's God, he sent a guardian over them. This is as simple as that. Muhammad, he made it a dog. And this is coming from the Syriac language story. Muhammad, he liked it. He put it in his Quran. And he claimed that this one who sent him that is God. Is that a different reading or this is a different story or this is different fabrication? Or this is a vendor, what they call it, like a, when, when you steal the writing of somebody else and you add your own words and you make it to look like your own. And the funny, the Quran said that Allah is telling Muhammad stories which nobody knows. <laughs> when this story is very famous, everybody knows about it. Uh, what, uh, is that a different reading or this is well, what what caused the the, the 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 angel to become a dog no this is not a different reading this is different an additional lie of muhammad we can go and we can you know make a special study about how many verses in the quran they have different meaning totally different meaning which can make things upside down but all of what we know that if God, he need to send a book, and this God is not capable to make his book clear from making one book, that God cannot be God. If we go only with the reasoning of Muhammad, saying that my people are not capable of doing it, Muhammad is confirming that Allah do not have the ability to make a book which the Muslims can handle. Are you getting my point? And if Allah, and He is God, and He is Almighty, and He is the best writer in the world, He cannot make a book, one book, to make it clear for the Arab, who they are a small tribe of Muhammad, around him. How He can make His book clear to someone who is in Pakistan, or somebody in Russia, or Germany?
Do you understand what I'm saying? It's okay. He was posting Andrew. He was posting in Arabic at the verse. He's not doing anything wrong. It's all right. Why Allah did not send seven Gospels to Jesus? Any Muslim can answer? And as long one Quran is not capable, that means you Muslim you should recite the seven Quran, not one. Where are they? Oh, by the way, uh, 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 a Muslim he made a comment let me see the uh, he gave me a comment <clears throat> Mr. Forgiving he said I also laugh louder on the blunder of nonsense of CP so I answered him Speaking about me speaking nonsense, I said to forgiving, true, because I am Allah and I promise you an endless penis. I mean, look at the idiots and look at those people who cannot see. I mean, I am the one who make no sense, but I'm not the one who promised you endless penis. Endless penis will lead you to endless stupidity because you can't even walk with it. And what you will do with this endless penis? And then, after he said that to him, he said to me, shame on you. Like, what the heck? I'm just quoting for you what your prophet said. So Allah he seven, sent seven Quran and yet he could not explain to you what he's saying. Now he sent Hadith and in the Hadith it says all the garbage. So Allah he is after the seven Quran still the Quran is missing a lot because 90% or even 95% of Islam is in the Hadith not in the Quran. And actually you believe it or not Hadith abrogate the Quran. Can you believe it? Hadith, which is nothing but the speech of Muhammad, suddenly it became more powerful than Allah's words. So as an example, the Muslim Sunni, they say that the Prophet, he forbid the muta, but the Quran muta verse is there. Was Allah capable of making a new verse to say, oh, don't move, do muta? Is the Hadith to complete what was short in the Quran? Obviously. The Quran, just an empty book. I mean, who care about those seven people they slept in the cave with their dog or with their angel? Who care about the ant who 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 heard Sulaiman and uh, say, you know, say, hide because Sulaiman is going to crush you? Who care for this? All of Islam is in the Hadith. The Quran is nothing but a book of stupidity. There's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of An-Naml. Let us go there. I mean, you read the Quran, if you think you are like going to the zoo, chapter of the it's like furniture and, and, and animals. The chair chapter, the spider chapter, the elephant chapter, the ant chapter, you name it. The cow chapter. Until brother Suleiman, we gave him army, mobilized his troop. Okay, what his troop is? Birds. And, and what? And what? Look at the translation, it says the spirit. What spirit? Genie are not spirit, you liar. Genie and men and birds. Who care for this story, it, it, you know, regardless if it's true or not, obviously it's just even, not even for good for kids. 
This is something the Jewish people, they teach them to their children. Muhammad, he took it with the Quran. The Jewish, they tell stories to their children before they sleep. Suleiman, he have a ring, he controlled the world, he was a great king, blah, 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 blah. He have a flying horse. Muhammad, psh, he, he took it, he put it in the Hadith. So Allah, he provides Suleiman with army, very powerful army, like Hezbollah, full of uh, chicken. Enter when they came upon the valley of the ant. Like the, is that a state? Is that a California? Have you ever heard of a valley called the valley of the ant? Do, do they have borders there? I mean, do I need a visa to go there? So the guy, he arrived to the valley of the ant. If there is a place in this earth, do not have ants. Hey, Abdul, the one you are moving. Hey, you stop moving. Is there an ant in your pant? Ants is everywhere. What valley of the ant? He arrived to the valley of the ant, and ant, she said, and she said, Oh, ants. She said, Oh, ants. The ant, she said that. Why is she afraid that the cow they will hear her and they will think that she is speaking to them? Why she said, Oh, ants. I mean, just think about the word one by one. Most of people, they don't do that. Oh, ants. Okay. She is an ant speaking to the ant. Why she is saying, Oh, ants? Is she afraid that the bees will hear it? And they will think we are talking about them? Oh, ants. Okay. Go to your nest. Lest Suleiman and his troops will crush you without noticing. Like what? Look at the wisdom. And then Suleiman, he laughed at her words. Look at the word words. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? The end she was speaking words. And the end she said, Suleiman, how the end she knew his name? Do you think she have an app or she have Facebook? I mean, okay, I got it. She is an ant. And this ant, she is in the valley. And now the ant spoke to the ant. But how in the world the ant, she knew the name of Suleiman? And she told him, Suleiman? And all the ants like, oh, Suleiman is coming. Oh, he's famous. You know, he's a superstar on TV. He was an American idol. Look how famous Solomon is to the point all the ants they knew him. Not like me, I mean, there is no ant knew about me. So, Solomon, he heard her words. And Solomon, he said, Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Allah. Like, hold on, what do you mean, thank you, Allah? Allah, he taught Solomon the language of the birds. Not the language of the ants. So how Allah, he taught him the language of the birds and now Suleiman is understanding the language of the ants. Do you see it? Thank you, Allah. And Allah and Suleiman succeed, uh, succeed David. He said, Oh, people, we were taught the language of the birds. Okay. So now you've been taught the language of the birds, and now you, you, you understand the ants. And by the way, the ants are deaf and mute. They don't talk, and they don't have words. They don't have tongue. The ants, they communicate like all creatures. They have the language, yes. But their language is not by words. They vibrate or chemical. That's it. They don't have singing and stone. So, the Quran is busy telling us fiction, stupid stories, and then we find that Islam is in the Hadith. So, what the Quran for? Allah He sent the Quran in seven dialect to make us understand this.
Brother and sister, as an example, Allah is in the Quran in seven direct. If you open the chapter of the meal and you try to read the word of the meal, you will find that it's very hard to read the word of the meal. Because I can ask why, why it's very hard to understand the chapter of the meal. First of all, it's very complicated. The ant, she said to the other ant, hide, otherwise Suleiman will crush you. This is complicated. Exactly. And I'll claim to you. First of all, in order to understand the memory, which is the ant, you have to be an ant. Look, what the heck? I have to be an ant in order to understand the ant? So, did Allah send these verses for the ant or for us? Quote the prince. Allah is in the Quran for everybody, including the ant. And I got you both it. I was wondering why all this drama about the ant. And by the way, this ant is divorced or she's single. Quote the prince. Allah don't fear personal information. What the heck? <laughs> so the Quran is amazing the Quran is so good the Quran etc and look at this and not only that they say to you the Quran nobody can make Quran but all of this in front of us is the end talking the Quran making the end is making Quran who is the one who says oh ain't Go into your nest, let Solomon and his troops crush you without noticing. Who said that? The ant. So Allah Allah made Quran or the ant is making Quran now? Brother, nobody can make Quran like Allah. And then we find the ant is making Quran. Uh, Mr. Mahdi, he said, the donkey is in the Bible is speak. Uh, my friend, if you read the Bible, it says that God, he made the sound come from the, his voice. The donkey is not talking. However, I can show you the hadith of your prophet speaking to his prophet, his, his donkey, his name is Ya'fur, and he asked him, do you like females? So look what the Muslim they do, because they are ignorant of their religion. Our Bible doesn't say the donkey is speaking, go and read the verses, and people will laugh at you. While your prophet, he said, that when he asked his donkey, and his name is Ya'fur, who are you? He told him that my name is Yafur, the son of etc., the son of etc., and he was speaking Arabic. And then your prophet, he asked him a very important question. He said to him, do you like female? The guy, the, the, the donkey, he was a homosexual. He said, no. And if you don't believe me, actually, I have a cartoon made by me about your prophet about it. You can search it. Muhammad and his donkey Yafur. I, I forgot the name of the video. This is what happened always to the Muslims. They make fun of you at something they have. We don't. Welcome to the Abdulism. So Allah, he have time to tell us about a stupid ant speaking to the other ant and Suleiman is smiling. And then Suleiman, he go and check his chicken and he find that the hood hood is not there. Like what the heck? And then he inspected the birds and said, why do I not see the hoopoo? Look, what? The hoopoo? The hoopoo is not there? I mean, how in the world you accept to be a king after this day, Solomon? One of your birds, he went to vacation without telling you. I mean, do you see the news? You are sitting in your bedroom. And then you see breaking news, flash. Hold on, let me make one. Yeah, flashing news, flashing news, hold on. Oh boy. Announcement. Well, we can have announcement, hold on. We have to give you a flash of news now. You like it, you don't like it, I mean, what we can do? Flash of news, flash of news. Okay, hold on. Uh, <clears throat> All right. We will say here the flash news. Okay, hold on. All 
All right. Flash news. Takbir. Here we go. Let us put it in the screen. The flash news. No, that this one. Hold on. No, wrong flash news. Uh, oh, this one. No, not this one. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. I have too many news here. This is a flashy news. Huh? Yeah. So, flash news. Okay, brother, hit the bomb there. Flash news, brother. Okay, this one. Yeah, this one. All right, here we go. Uh, King Solomon did not find the hubu. Did you see the flash news? How in the world such a thing happened, brother? I mean, this is something I don't accept, really. I mean, this is really not nice. You are a hoopoo in the kingdom of Suleiman, and the, the, the king, he gave you a command, you are a general. And then you go vacation to the beach without telling Suleiman. But just to tell you how the story work. <clears throat> Let us search first for this bird so I can show you why this religion is a joke. Because maybe some of you do not know how this bird looks like. This is why Muhammad, he made the bird general in the army of, uh, of uh, Suleiman. He have, you see, he's a Roman general, look at this. Can't you tell? Like, are you, are you ignorant or what? This guy is born to be a general in the Roman army. So the King Solomon, who had a flying carpet fit for 600,000 chair, and all his equipment and his kingdom and kingship and soldiers and army from chicken and birds, blah, 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 and genie can fly in the top of it. This is the biggest flying carpet in the world. He had a general for the army of the birds and this is him this is the book which the muslim they need seven quran in order to be capable of it my friends if this is not a stupid you tell me who is the stupid if this is not, if they, I mean, this is the okay. Uh, nobody can make Quran, but the one is talking is is is, is Solomon, is the end. Look, look, the the the, the hoopoe is making a uh, Quran. He said, "I found the women ruling over them. She was giving of everything, and she has magnificent throne." Look, oh, this is a, a turn to be. He's doing a spying. He's working for the CIA. Yeah, so, my friend, if you did not convert to Islam yet, you better take your conversion immediately. First, Islam does not speak nonsense. So when Allah he says he will make your endless penis so long, he have a purpose for you. Think about it. He will use it for a pipeline between Russia and America for gas in the future. And even between galaxies. If you do not convert to Islam yet, you don't know what are you missing. Allah he need to make seven Quran in order to understand how the breast of the women they will look like when Allah he gave us those breasts I cannot wait to be a Muslim the funny the Muslim they say Christian Prince is jealous Abdul all what it take is to say two to three one sentence and I will get all of this and look at the translation here and splendid spouses will match what is the breast Look at this translation here, the breast is gone. We change the translator just to show you how they fabricate those Muslims. You cannot trust their translation ever. Look, before we change, look at, the, look at this. Do you see anything here about the breast? Nothing. 
Okay, I will change the translator. Like what? So I need seven Quran in order and seven reading in order to understand how big those boobs. You know what? If I am Allah, I will make a billion Quran about this because this will be the best sell book ever. Guys, I don't know. I don't like to to see this verse. You know, you know, I'm single. I mean, I hope you understand the situation here. Oh boy. Valabatatos, women of equal well, you know, this I mean, even this word is really hard for me to pronounce. I need like a week to pronounce it, but I think it's long so long because they are so big too. So we need seven Quran to understand this garbage. I mean, what, what, what is this? I will give you bracelet from gold. Like, what the heck? Why a man want to wear a bracelet of gold in his hand? What kind of a man he wear it in his hand? He's trying to be pretty? And not to forget to mention, sometimes the Quran promise you a bracelet from gold, and sometimes it is from silver. Uh, depend. So in chapter 18, verse number 31, Allah He promised you bracelet from gold. In chapter 76, 21, Allah forgot what He promised them. The the the, the silver is the bracelet color and the material. So read with me here. And for them will be guard in eternity beneath them or the river of love. Okay. And then they will be adorned therein with the bracelet of gold. Okay. Take a note. In the heaven of Allah, Abdul, you will have a bracelet of gold in your hand. Okay. We go to a different verse. Just a few verse after 76, 21. Look what happened. Do you think Allah is out of gold so he decided to spread silver after that? Is the bracelet from gold or from silver? This is the Quran. And when somebody he says like he is a Western, he converted to Islam. I, you know, I don't I only feel I don't feel sorry for anyone. I told you that before, but I ask always myself, how stupid a human being to follow such a stupid book? I mean, this is telling me that you have really, really a mental problem, literally. This is a book of God. God, He promised me a couch, and then Allah will buy me heavy brocade made in Iran. Remember the Istabraq here, Allah He promised you Istabraq, which is nothing but Iranian silk brand. It's like saying Gucci at these days. So at that time it was expensive. So Allah He promised us we will have expensive silk bought from Iran. No, today I'm not going to make a take call because my voice is not good still. <laughs> you can tell. And they don't want to scream. You know, they make me scream and you know they want to and I will and then I will stay there for 10 hours. If I if I start taking calls, you know what will happen. Already we are an hour and thirty minutes. So as you see, the Quran is so stupid, so foolish, so dummy, and yet Muhammad he need to send the Quran. He know he needs seven Quran. If this dummy book needs seven time to be explained, that explain to us how dummy it is. And now after Muhammad he sent Allah he sent him seven books still the Muslim the this the, the only thing they agree they agree about not to agree about the meaning of the verses just to show you how the Muslims after sending seven Quran 
How good is the Muslim explanation for the Quran? Let us let us do this. Let us do this. Let us do that. Hmm. Just to give you an example of the beautiful, amazing book of Allah. <clears throat> Which verse will we show you? I don't know. I mean, there's all of them. They are stupid. But let us just to show you an example of this madness. Um, I'm just looking to see which one we will pick up. I mean, all of them are stupid. But um, <clears throat> I don't want to show you the chapter of the genie because that I mean the chapter of the of the cow is is enough. We don't want genie now. Uh, let us see here. Uh, oh, hold on. Let's go to chapter 36. Let us go to verse number one. Look at the explanation. So Allah, he wrote this sentence seven times to the Muslims so they understand it. Yeah, sin. And after Allah, he wrote it seven times, the Muslim, they come to the conclusion. Allah knows best what he meant by those letters. For them, it is letters because this is a theft from the Christians before Islam. The Christian Aramaic, they used to be pagan before. And that is an Aramaic language. People used to worship either the, moon, the, 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 the sun or the, or the moon. Sin is a god, which is the moon god, worship in the hot areas, desert area. Yah is a word mean God. Go right now and search. Send the moon God. Forget about Christian Hinduism. It's a this is just history. You just go read the same God. Sin God is the moon God. Yah is a word mean God. The Muslim to solve it, they say. Allah knows best what those letters mean. If you change the interpretation, look, I will change the interpretation in front of your eyes. Look what they will say. This is Tafsir al I will go to Ibn Abbas. Look what happened. And from the narration on the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, upon this interpretation saying, that the Creator glorify His mention, Yasin, Yasin. He says Yasin, O oh, human being in the Syriac language. Do you see it? So it is confirmed even in their book that this is from the Syriac language. So how the Quran say this is a pure Arabic? And why in the world you are adding a word there? They don't understand. It's Syriac. And as long as it's a Syriac, where it comes, where you, this guy, he don't even speak Syriac, so how you know it's, it's a human? Do you have a dictionary? My friends, when I say stupidity is amazing, I have a million reasons to, to do that. Actually, one of you, he said, we should make a t-shirt, say the stupidity is amazing, you should make ones and sell. I don't mind if you guys you can do it, but for me I have nothing for sale. I don't sell. I'm not doing business here. You know, I know like some people they make a cop have their name or T-shirt. I don't do that. You know, this is not really. I'm not. This is not the purpose of mine. This is why if you go to Patreon, you will find that anyone can join Patreon and watch my videos there for free without donation for a penny. Why? Because we are not making videos so people will make a donation. We are not making a video so only those who make donation can watch them. 
I am here to serve the poor before the rich. So the one who can help us, God bless him. But by helping us, you are helping the poor so they can learn for free. As simple as that. So those who make a suggestion about like, okay, they, okay why you don't make a t-shirt? Uh, it says Chippe is amazing. So uh, I'm not here for a business and I will not sell t-shirts. You know, I have books because books can change life of people. People who have want reference in their hands, they will have reference in their hands. And as you see, I'm giving my books for free, you know, in all languages. So thank God, you know, he is our provider. And uh, if the Lord is providing me, I do not need more. Trust me, you will take nothing with you to your grave. Not even your shoes, even your shoes, the one with you, they might take it from you before you, when you put you in the, in the little hole in the ground. So we do not need more except faith, wisdom, knowledge, and ready to meet the Lord. The rest is just will stay in this earth. Whatever you have is going to stay here. The house you live in, somebody else will have it soon or later. Trust me. The watch you are wearing will live longer than you. The ring you are wearing, it might live for a million years, but you will die. The ring in your hand is not your, hand, your, your, your ring. After you die, your kids will take it and sell it. And then your grandsons will trash all your pictures and say, well, who is this guy? Nobody will remember you. You are history. The only witness you have that you will exist is your bones. So I say to you, prepare for the coming day. It comes so fast. I'm not prophesying like Muhammad that judgment day is near and the moon is split. I'm not going to split the moon for you. I'm going to split Muhammad two pieces so you can see all the crap inside him. But I'm saying to you that yesterday you are born, tomorrow you are dead. Time goes so fast. Yesterday you were a kid, today you are a man, tomorrow you are old and the day after you never know. So be aware, people, that the day of the Lord is coming. And, you know, those who don't get ready for uh, that day, they don't, they are not going to be happy. It's going to be very harsh for them. And for sure, Islam is not a solution. My friend, if you don't want my books from Amazon, uh, we just said we give our books for free. What's wrong with people? They complain, it doesn't matter what you do. And why you want to go even to have my book? Here we go. I stay with you five, six, ten hours. My books is to have reference in your shelves when you need them. But I am, me, myself, the one who wrote those books. I'm making a book every day when I go live. If you go and write down the words I said two days ago when I stayed, or three days ago when I stayed for eight hours, that will make a book. So my friend, <clears throat> uh, be ready for time goes so fast. And one day you will be questioned for what you did and what you did not. And most of you will be asked for things you did not do. How the Muslim defend the crescent moon, the crescent on the mosque? Well, they say that this is something added later uh, to the to the religion, but still that will not. Uh, let us say, for sake of argument, this is true. Uh, so why you add it? <laughs> you know what I mean? why you add it but the fact this is not true the crescent moon is part of Islam and it's very important but always because Muslims they speak usually to people who they are ignorant they do not know why the crescent moon 
is their sign. If you go to chapter 2, verse number 189, you will see that Allah he announced that the way to know all his rituals is when you see the crescent moon. This is when their God appear. And this is what all religion, who they worship the crescent moon, they used to do. When you see me, you start worshiping. When you see me, you start fasting. When you see me, you start praying. When you see me, you start bowing. Right? Uh, Mr. Wasim, well, I don't have the balls, my friend, because I broke them in the top of your kids, who they are not even tall enough to reach them. Because if your kids, those, they dare to call me, I'm here. I am the one who called me me hijab, he hang up on me seven times, he did not let me talk, and still we get him busted. So who is the coward? Your kids don't dare to call me. Your kids don't dare to let me call them. Who is the one who is scared? When Christian Prince, he stays for eight hours and his Skype is open, he do not know who is calling, who is holding them. Very simple answer. Cowards, potatoes, they know that will be the end of their career if they have any anyway. Your God, Allah, don't dare to call me. All right. So, as an other example about the topic, you know, we don't want Muslim to change our topic. You see, they try to divert you from topic, you know, speaking about debating me. You debate me, you don't debate me. Who care? People come in here by thousands and they are learning and they are leaving Islam. It's your fault if you don't do something to debate me so everybody will see I'm teaching wrong. So, if Christian Prince is lying, you should get him busted. This is your duty. Call me or let me call you. Who is the coward? They will not call me. They will not dare to give me their Skype to call them. And yet they claim to be brave. You remind me of the Muslims when they say death to America and the same time, second day, they have a base of the American army. Like Qatar and Saudi Arabia. And even Taliban now, they're asking the American to go back. A bunch of potatoes. You say something, you do the opposite. Now remember, <coughs> uh, when Allah, he said, the one who witnessed the month of Ramadan, according to Muslim translation, that is not a word being month. Today in the language, the word shahar, it is a word used as month. But where the word month is coming from? It is coming from the word moon. So, Shahru Ramadan is not the month of Ramadan, it is the moon of Ramadan. This is why here it says, whoever of you witness the moon of Ramadan, he should fast. Look at the first translation. Here it says, so whoever of you who is a present between two brackets at his home, so you you fast Ramadan only if you are at home? If the moon come? If you are in the roof, you don't fast Ramadan? This is a stupid dummy translation. So let us see here. If you change the translator, you will see a totally different meaning. You know, when I say stupidity is amazing, I have many reasons, and I have a million reasons, actually. Uh, <clears throat> Here, this guy is supposedly smarter. The month of Ramadan, which is not the month again, this is the moon of Ramadan, in which was revealed in, is the, uh, the Quran, guidance for mankind, clear proof and guidance, okay? And then he says, so whoever of you sight you cannot cite the month. Time is not something physical you can cite. Whoever of you cite the crescent moon in the first night. Do you see it? So the crescent moon is all over embedded in their cult. All the ritual. Did you ask the Muslim why the crescent moon? I mean, what will happen? Why is this day, the first day, you start fasting? What happened? Allah is coming. The moon God is coming. As you see. 
I will call you next time as long your Skype is closed. No, Muhammad, I, I decide to open it just for you. Here we go. I will take only one call from the guy. His name is Muhammad. Let us see who is the chicken. And let us see who is the one who will lay eggs. And now he will not call. Just wait. Are you sure, Muhammad, you want to call me? Are you sure? Let us see who is the chicken. Here we go. Even I don't want to stay long. My voice is tired from staying for long speaking. But I will take one call from the guy who he claim that he is not a chicken and calling us chickens. Let us see how good this chicken is. Muhammad, I'm logging in Skype now. And I cannot wait, my friend, to see the rooster. Is that you? Call me. Send me hello. Say this is Muhammad, and I want to call you, and I will talk you take you immediately. See, I was going to leave. You know, be aware of a Christian prince surprises. Muhammad, which one is you? There's Muhammad Jabahil. There's Muhammad Qasim. I don't know which one. Which one is you? <laughs> Uh, Muhammad Abdul Meet Abdul Meet Abdul Dar. Look at the names he chose to his God. Let us call him. <coughs> call declined. Who is the chicken? Potato. Who is the chicken? Declined? Do you have a shame? Potato. Let us take other, other Abdul. Hold on. Hello. Yes, uh, Mr. Muhammad. How are you? Hello, Mr. Chicken. Oh, okay, hold well on. Did you okay, did you let's, call? Let's get, did, let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. Let's get oh, no, as long as you mention chicken, okay. is it true? Is it true that your God Allah He sit in the top of the chicken? That's false. Oh, uh, don't change topic. Like, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just say. Hold on. You just say. You are the one who started the. You open a topic. You open a topic. It's a great topic. Is it true? I didn't open you, it. Okay. You no, you are the one. The first, <laughs> word, the first word you said to me, chicken. Correct. I said you are a chicken. I didn't say the God is okay, on so the you, chicken. Okay. So why your God, God Allah, is sitting on the chicken if he is not a chicken himself? There's no chicken. Listen, listen carefully. In the Bible, okay. It says, don't change the topic. The Hold on. Speak. Oh, Abdul. No, no. Why just, your you hadith? You why your hadith you says? Shut up. You you know, see, here we go. Eh, just say, oh, it's just a stupid. If you don't dare to mention something, don't mention it to me because I will make you a shish kebab. You mention the chicken, we want to know what kind of God he sit in the chicken. And now he could not answer us about anything. Well, in the Bible, in the Bible, in the Bible, you stupid idiot, son of Muta. If my Bible is bad, why you stupid prophet? He swear on it. And he says, I believe in thee, in thee, and the one who sent thee. This is my answer for a stupid fool like you. Because now whatever you say about my Bible, people will laugh at you. You're a prophet. He swear by the book you are trying to laugh at. This is how dumb you are. And your God is the only God who sit in the top of a chicken. I never heard of such a God. And that chicken is an angel, supposedly. What's wrong with you? Coward. In Allah Jalla Dukrahu Adin Ali and Uhaditha and Deekin Qadamara Qatarijlahu Fil Ard. 
Allah, he told me to tell you about a rooster. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And you know, there's tons of articles written about this huge chicken which is under the throne of Allah. Read and laugh, and the Muslim they are asking question: How in the world this is? You know, what the heck is that? What? Let us use Google Translation. Chicken. Your God is not a cowboy; he is a chicken boy. The messenger Allah may Allah pray and peace upon him. God exalted, and he permitted to narrate. The rooster whose legs are parted in the ground and his neck is bent under Allah's throne. Is it Sahih? Yes. Al Muhaddith Al Alabani Source Sahih. Page number 1839. So, who is the chicken? <laughs> And the chicken is the one after speaking for two hours about his stupid book. He don't want to talk about his book no more. He want to go and speak about the Bible, which his God, Muhammad, he swear by it, saying, I believe in thee. This is why he don't want to talk about his religion. Your Bible, your Bible, your Bible. Look, your Bible. Like you said, you mentioned chicken. Let's talk about chicken. Chicken. You talk like a chicken. You speak like a chicken and you walk like a chicken. You must be chicken. You don't want to talk about this hadith. Why? Because it's embarrassing. What kind what, what, what this is about? I mean what is why what kind of a prophet he says that Allah his name that the, the, the throne of Allah is standing in the top of a rooster. And actually, maybe he was surprised that I pick up this hadith for him. But as you know, my head is a library. I will hit you from wherever you cannot even imagine. Whatever you say to me, I will return it to you from your books. The chicken is your prophet who ran away to Ethiopia seeking the protection of the Christians. The chicken is your prophet who ran away from Mecca seeking the protection of the Jews in Medina. That is the chicken. And by the way, this guy is the same guy who sent me a book. So, so, sorry, sent me. Uh, he he brought me a, a a sheikh to debate me. You remember that debate? You remember the debate? A very nice debate. This guy he brought me a sheikh from New York. He called me. It was the most horrible ever debate. And then this potato he regret. And he claimed that it was him who was debating me. Can you believe it? The Muslim they say that the Christian prince he lie about who is talking to him. This guy he brought his sheikh. I spoke to him almost for two hours. I made him shish kebab, and when he saw that the debate was horrible, he said that he changed his voice to sound like a sheikh. This Abdul. Son of Muta. Go do Muta, go. Go find a female believer who she is allowed you to sleep with her in the bed for three days and three nights. Allah, he made seven Quran, but he never made a verse that the Muta is forbidden anymore. This is a religion of a chicken. This is what chicken do. They jump in the top of each other. Rooster jumping in top of it. the chicken. He has many chicken girlfriend. No, my friend, you are you are ex, you are an ex Muslim now. Don't call me. You are an ex Muslim already. The decent religion of Muhammad is so decent that Muhammad he made it clear. 
that a person he can go and he chose any female chicken so he can sleep with her three days three nights what is the purpose sexual fun and the Muslim they claim that they are coming from a decent prophet when he is nothing but a perverted man Allah Apostle said if a man and a woman agree between two bracket to marry in the hadith there is no marriage and the easiest way to find out if the word marriage is here you can do this you can go to Google translation click at the page click translate and you will see that all the Arabic will be translated and there is no word of marriage it says here Aishra Aishra mean sharing bed sharing a house sharing a room Allah messenger said if a man and a woman and we will give the correct translation agree to share bed for three nights and three days if they like to continue they can do so if they want to separate they can do so this is Islam this is a religion it's not even good for a chicken because a rooster he will not like you to take his chicken after three days he will go he will go not you Muslims you don't care you sleep with your woman look at this they are saying to marriage right what kind of decency this religion has that I am going to marry a woman for three days and then my woman she will marry another guy for three days and the woman I married her she have kids from me maybe and then she will marry other guy and other guy and other guy and other guy is that a marriage or a prostitution if there is a limit how many men she can sleep with no same for the man this is official chicken religion so you try to call me chicken we got you busted your god is the one who's in the chicken not even in a horse what a stupid religion and you know, sometimes I ask myself when Muhammad he say those things about like, my God, you know, he is on top of a chicken, blah, blah, blah. I, I say to myself, what's wrong with this guy? Is he trying to create like a weird image of his God? His God sit in a rooster? And this rooster is so giant that his legs is down in the earth and his head under the throne of Allah? Chicken, like your God, garbage in, garbage out. And the funny here, it says Sahih. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. It's uh, It was so nice to see who chicken out, not to call. And the one who called me, the first word he used was a chicken. And the second we said to him, let us talk about chicken then, he refused. And right away he want to jump to the Bible, which his God, Muhammad, he say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Anytime the Abdul, he says to you, he tried to argue with you about the Bible, show him this. Do you remember the guy when he said to him three days ago, Mr. Exactly? Do you remember? Exactly. I said, your prophet, he took an oath in it. He said, exactly. I said, he said, I believe in it. I said, exactly. I said, why he do that if the book is corrupted? He said, he was trying to be positive. Hey, Muslims, shouldn't you be positive? So now if I take an oath, if a Muslim asks me a question about something, he said to me, swear. Let us say I'm not a Christian because Christian should not swear. But let's say I am a Hindu, whatever. And then he says, swear. I will say, uh, okay, I swear. He say, you're a swearing lying. I say, I was trying to be positive. Can you believe it? exactly the prophet was taking an oath saying i believe in thee he was lying you know he was trying to be positive positive i hope your prophet is not hiv positive too if this is the purpose of it have you ever heard of a prophet he swear in a book the muslims are laughing at supposedly and he say, I believe in thee. Not only he swear, he didn't say, I swear by you. He said, I believe in thee. And the one who sent thee, which made the disaster double. And then this Abdul, he want to make fun of the Bible. Which his prophet said, I believe in thee. And the one who sent thee. 
and we stay here for eight hours and this channel is about Islam yet they don't dare to answer anything about their stupid cult they try to defer to, 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 to change the topic when I divert it it doesn't work uh, you no, know, I can't explain anything now because it's time for him for me to go. Otherwise, we will stay for another ten hours. It's already two hours, and actually, I said to myself today because my voice is tired, uh, I will stay maybe for like thirty minutes. You know, here we go. Thirty minutes became two hours. So, I want to say to you all, thank you very much for being here. And as you see in the flash news, uh, King Solomon he found the the bird the hoopoe is missing. So please, if you know anyone. Uh, uh, he if you find that uh, bird you know contact the phone number of Solomon you can call the Israeli government uh, Mossad because they work for Solomon too and you can tell them I found the, uh, the bird you know which is missing right now brother and uh, praise be to Allah he is the only one knows those stories and this is a bird which nobody have a brother nobody have uh, by the way the story about this bird uh, they asked Ibn Abbas about this bird. He said, this is a bird Allah he gave to Suleiman because he can see the water in the, uh, in the under the earth. So uh, little Abdul, he said to uh, Ibn Abbas, so how come if we cover a trap by with seed, put some seed and cover the trap by some dirt, we can capture this bird if he can see the water under the ground. Ibn Abbas, he said, if not, Allah will curse you. You know, the guy, he said, I swear I will never do that again. And Ibn Abbas, actually, he said, uh, I, I forgot the, the, exactly what he said. Like, if uh, if the people are not afraid to say Ibn Abbas, uh, get, like what's mean, they got busted, he could not answer. But anyway, so he, he threatened the person to curse him. So the guy, he got scared. He said, don't curse me, please. I will not ask those questions again. But the question is very simple get him busted right away if this bird can see under the ground how come if we put some seed in the top of a trap covered by dust he step on it we catch him how come he can see it that this is a trap so this is a very silly cult made by a silly man his name is Muhammad it was his lucky day he came in a perfect time to take over by the sword and to fool the fool and force those who don't believe in him and now all those you see the millions they are not really Muslims those are people don't dare to leave Islam because as you see not a single Muslim even he called me to dare to speak about his religion they won't speak about anything else because the second you speak about Islam Islam demolished and they do not know what to say so thank you all for being here I hope you learned something good for today and until we uh, uh, okay hold on we have Aga Ali he's saying Aga Ali I think he's a Muslim let us see what Aga Ali is saying let us put it in the screen Read carefully and let us laugh at what Aga Ali he said. Bible say if a man have sex with a woman, he should pay her her father. I challenge you to show us the verse so everybody laugh at you. You stupid coward son of Muta. The verse is there saying that he should pay her her dowry and marry her. You are a prostitute yourself. Coward son of Muta. And look what you just did. You agreed by saying that that your prophet he was promoting prostitution by saying with well, the bible around prostitution too which means you and the bible is doing the same right but the fact those verses have nothing to do what we have said because you marry the woman who you fornicate with if she was single and not only that the man he can't even divorce her which means if you did if you did that you know, to use this girl and throw her in the street after that because nobody will marry her. This is a very conservative society. You are stuck. If you did that to dishonor the girl, 
Well, you are dishonor yourself now. Oh, for sure, the girl she can refuse to marry the person. Still, he have to marry her, if she agree, and he will pay her her dowry, which is going to be enough to support her for the rest of her life. So, the Bible is a book of conservative God. Your God is the one who ordered women for three days, three nights. And you are a coward when you say what you say because you are a liar. Everybody can go and see the verses and they will laugh at you. Potato like you're a prophet and he will fry you. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And we see you soon again. And let me remind you again one more time that there's no other channels for me except Arabian Prophet and Christian Prince speak about Islam. All other channels are not mine. All other channels, with no exception, are not mine. About Islam, I have two channels only. Now, I have channels, I don't use them. Those are for, like, let us say, in case we lose a channel here, we have I have a lot, but you do not know about them. So, only two channels are the channels of a Christian Prince. So, anyone, he posts, uh, uh, like a Christian highlight or whatever uh, you know those uh, uh, accounts those are not mine because I noticed that those some people there trying to deceive the Christians and they are not telling them that this is not Christian Prince channel I allow everybody to download my videos but those are not me the place I go live on it's where I am speaking to you and if there is somebody else broadcasting my life, you can tell easy that it's not me. How? Say something in the chat. If you could not answer it, it's mean he's playing my voice. Very easy. Because if the channel he is broadcasting is my channel, and I am there, well, as you see, I'm answering people in the chat. And we are talking to people live in the chat. So if you speak to them in the chat, you say, hey, Christian Prince, can you answer this? And this Christian Prince there, he keep going, keep going, and he's not seeing your text. That's mean those people, they are just playing my videos. This is not my live broadcast. Thank you all. God is good, and we are always victorious. And I'm so glad that the Muslims helped me to remember today the hadith about Allah riding a chicken, the chicken God in the top of a chicken a mule, and he is a chicken teacher, because it's a chicken teaching to say you go and be a rooster and you can enjoy a chicken for three days, three nights, and if you like to stay more, stay more. That is not from God. God is not a pimp. While Allah, obviously, he is a big, big, a huge pimp. Thank you. God bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is our Lord. And we are so thankful for having our Lord the Messiah. We are so grateful that we are able to show the truth to the Abdul. We are so happy to see thousands and thousands of Muslims leaving Islam after watching my videos. We made a huge impact. My book soon is going to be published in the Persian, which means Afghanistan people can read it, Iranian people can read it, and all is for free. All is for free. A glory to him. He said, for free you took, for free you gave. Thank you, and God bless you. Take care.